Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at this brand new set from LEGO. This is the LEGO Technic Mac LR Electric Garbage Truck. <laughs> okay, so it's got a long title. Uh, I have always had a fascination with garbage trucks. I, I don't know why, I've just always thought they were really cool. I like the way the mechanisms work, especially for the rear loaders, the way the whole crusher comes down. This is a side loader and it has a working mechanism here where it can grip the trash can and you can see the gear work and it'll dump it in there. It's very neat. And here on the back, you can see that it will actually dump the whole thing out. So you got the whole rear section that will uh, dump out the, the debris. Also, this little section here. Here you can see where that mechanism works. My only thing with this is they only give you one trash can. They real I wish they would have given you about three or four more of these. That way you can kind of go down like the city street and pick up several of these. They only give you one. And so that's kind of a bummer. That's the only thing I don't like about it. This is a Technic set, so some people don't like Technic. I actually like Technic. I think it's a pretty uh, neat line of stuff, but it looks really cool. I love this whole thing. So this set has 503 pieces. It's not like a really huge set. It's actually a pretty small truck, but I like it. And I think the electric garbage truck, I think that's throwing some people off where they think it's got an electric motor in it, but it doesn't. They meant that the truck is an electric vehicle truck. So anyway, I can't wait to get started on it. And here it is all finished. Oh boy, what a cool, cool set. I love this thing. I just love this thing. I think it looks really cool. You know, I know Technic sets don't always have the um, detail or the smoothness of a, a standard model from Lego, but you know, when it comes to vehicles like this, Technic is kind of perfect for this sort of thing, but you can see the whole overall look of this. This, I really love this thing. It was a really fun build. It's not a huge set, so it you know it's not super technical or anything. Even the the workings in here, which I'll give you a close up of, but I love this thing. It's got some great details. Starting on the front here, we can see that they have little seats inside there. I'm guessing these are supposed to be like the steering wheel or something like that. Now on this side here, they have these little doors that will open just like this. They're little doors, but they work and they're nice. I think it's nice that they put that kind of detail in there. Now you can kind of see those seats inside there. And there's a little rear view mirror, which is adjustable up and down mainly. But here on this side, you have the other driver's side door or well, I guess it depends on which side they are on, but it's a nice little uh, feature they've got right there. These stickers look really good really like these ones in particular because of the vent work or it looks like a vent or something. You got this big one right here. Um, now when you put these ones on, they do have this indentation on this piece. So what I did is I, as I put it on there, I just kind of, you know, you just take your fingernail, just kind of rub it down in there, like burnish it in there to make sure you can kind of get those down in there. And then I use kind of the end of a toothpick, like the blunt end to kind of work it down into those little corners. But it looks a little better if you can kind of get those stickers down flat. I think most people would probably just put it on there and just have air under there. And that works too, because nobody's going to know it's in there. They also have this sticker. Uh, these are two stickers. And I kind of, you have to kind of line them up here in the middle of those two tiles to kind of make it look right so you don't have a space in there. And there's another sticker right here that kind of tells you the operation. And I'll show you the cool little uh, features that these things do. Love the tires. They always have great tires on uh, Lego sets. Here's the back. This piece will actually lift up. I'll show you how that works. It's like a neat little light here, a little tail light as well. Here's the other side that's got the same kind of stickers going on. And then this thing, of course, is really cool. On the top here, you'll notice that there is this little knob. Now that actually will turn the wheels. It's, I like these, these kind of things when they do that. Very simple uh, kind of operation when the way they have this working. You can kind of see how the bottom of this is. Very sturdy build for the whole thing. So now you can turn this, you can drive this around and turn it. Turn the wheels. It rolls very, very smooth. <laughs> I like it. So you can kind of steer it around. I like it. And uh, on a smooth surface like this, the tires really grip in. So I've seen them do this many, many times on different vehicles, but that function always works really well on these vehicles. 
Now, of course, one of the best features about this is this working mechanism for how it grips the trash can. This is so well done. You can see these little gears up inside here. And then they have these little gear pieces right here as well that kind of work with each other. They have these rubber pieces here so you can grip the trash can. But that is such a neat little thing. On the back side here, you can see how there is the knob right here that operates that. So just turning a very simple uh, knob operation for that. And then let me flip this over. So when you got the trash can up here, you'll see how it's got to be kind of right up against it. But you can see how that really does an excellent job of gripping this. You can see how it lifts it up right there. Now inside the trash can, they give you all these little colored discs. I put an extra, they give you one extra blue and one extra red. I just put them all in there. So that acts as the trash. So when you operate this now, you can see how it picks it up. Now there's a rubber band that puts tension on this. That makes it go back down. So when you do it, you have to kind of do it quick to make sure everything dumps into that section like that. You can see there's a nice smooth kind of tiled ramp right inside there. But that works so good. You can see how that lifts it. Puts it back down, just like that. I mean, that could not be any more flawless in the design of the way that works. How they figured that out, I don't know, but it's so cool. It works really, really well. On the inside here, you can see how that's all smoothed down with tiles. So sometimes these pieces kind of get stuck in here. You have to kind of push them in there. But, you know, it still works pretty good. Now on this side, you'll notice there's another little orange lever right here. That actually will lift the whole dumper thing in the back. So if you do it like that, it just empties all the pieces. You may have to kind of do it a little more harsh to get it out of there. But you do have this back section that does open. It's just a complete flap. Here on the inside, you can see what that looks like. It's just a big area for all those little pieces. And then this just kind of works like that. And then you've got this kind of section down in here. Let's see if I can get that to lift up. See that little black, uh, I don't know what it's called, like a, a fork or something in there. You can see how that works. I can get it focused in there. But see, that's a really cool operation. Let me see if I can stay focused on that, uh, that section right there. It just a, has a really smooth lifting mechanism works really, really good. Now, when I was building this, I, I kind of screwed up. I don't know. I could not figure out what I did wrong. So I put this piece on, but there was this big old gap right here. And I thought, what did I, what did I do wrong? Cause it connects right over in this section. And then I realized that I put this top section on this frame in the wrong holes. I, I had it too far back and I think I was supposed to have it more forward. So yeah, that was a goofy mistake. Sometimes, you know, when you're looking at these Technic sets, they can be a little bit uh, tricky in figuring out exactly where everything goes. You know, you can't always see exactly what's going on with the diagram. I must have spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out what I did wrong. And then I finally realized, ah, that's what it was. So, yeah, keep an eye on where you attach this to the frame of it down there so that you don't make the mistake I did. <laughs> so there you have it, the electric trash truck from lego this is the technic lego trash truck uh this came out on january 1st of 2024 along with so many other amazing sets this was first on my list though since i do love trash trucks so much it's a small little set it's about 33 dollars 32.99 which i think is a fair price for what you get you get a lot of stuff in here i do love this mechanism it works fantastic but as i said at the beginning of the video they really should have given you at least three to four of these trash cans in fact i went on their uh bricks and pieces on the website because I want to buy some more of these trash can pieces and they don't even have it listed. So I think these are pretty new pieces. Um, I think they came out in a Mario set. I'm not sure. And you're going to need a couple of other parts to go to make these connect on the inside. But yeah, I really wish they would have given you about three to four of these. So that way you can kind of line them up and then, uh, you know, act like you're dumping a bunch of them on like a city block or something because you, you only get this one to make it work, which works great, but I just wish you could put that down and then go drive off to the next one. So yeah, that's the only, the only thing I didn't like about it, but it's a very cool set. So 
If you want one of these, uh, check out the Lego store or Lego online. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. I just bought this set because I love it. <laughs> it's such a cool set. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video. So thank you again and have a good one.